Just after I'd left school, in a strange limbo between adolescence and adulthood, I had the chance to be a rock star. At least, that's what Ron Delbridge told me. It was appropriate that I met him in a pub, as much of the time we would spend together would be under the influence of alcohol. Look at me sitting here. It's just obvious that I don't know anybody. Stop worrying about what everybody thinks. If you don't know them, then it doesn't really matter. I don't even know why I came. Don't worry, once the beers kick in, you'll start enjoying yourself. I just think that it's a pity that I have to drink my confidence instead of having it inbuilt. Ah, uh, well, you think too much, don't you? G'day, mate, how's it going? Oh, not, not bad, thanks. Haven't seen you here before. Oh, I haven't really been here before. So what do you think is there, mate? Pretty ratchet, I reckon. Oh, no, they're not that bad. Listen, mate, there was once a time when rock and roll meant something, when if you played, you were special. You put on a show, you dressed differently to your audience. The problem with music today is, mate, there's no theatrics, there's no wild times. Oh. So, mate, what sort of music do you listen to? Oh, anything really, Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Oh, look, mate, like, don't get me wrong or nothing, but, but those bands are just fashion. People wear them like a T-shirt. What do you think of some of the older stuff, like uh, Led Zeppelin and ACDC? Oh, I don't mind Led Zeppelin. But you hate Aka Daka, right? Oh, I don't hate them. They're, they're pretty... I don't know, they're all right. Hate. Everyone hates ACDC now. Why? Because people don't listen, man. They don't listen with their ears. Gone are the days when people sit down and listen to music. It's just like a noise to have going in the background. You know, I know this bloke, he hates ACDC, right? Because he got beaten up by a bloke wearing an Akadaka shirt. That's typical, man. Judging a band by their fans happens all the time. Akadaka, mate. Last of the good time bands. They're playing loud and they're singing about the real things in life. You know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And their fans, their fans are a brotherhood linked by the ears. It's poetry, man. It really is. Oh, yeah. Look, mate. Music today is either some arrogant turd singing about himself over a drum machine. Some guy who hates his own guts and wants to blow his own brains out. Or worse still, man, syrupy power balance with annoyingly catchy tunes. It's all bullshit, man, it really is. So, man, do you play? Sorry? You know, man, do you play? Do you play? At the time, I'd only been playing bass for a few months and hadn't even thought about joining a band. But Ron assured me it wasn't whether you could play properly or not, it was how much attitude you had. He told me he was starting a band that were going to go places, bring back the old virtues of rock music and breathe life back into the industry. This sounded to me to be a little optimistic, but one of Ron's many sayings was, you may be disappointed if you fail, but you're doomed if you don't try. So what about this rock band business? Don't know. I think maybe Ron is a little crazy. He certainly seems happy. That's the thing. What? Well, someone like Ron could be crazy and happy with himself. And here's me, worried and insecure. I guess I just got landed with a bad type of crazy. You're not crazy, you just analyse things too much. Yeah, well if I'm not crazy, why am I talking to you? One, we're not talking, we're thinking. And two, everyone has internal dialogues with themselves. Do they? Sure. I bet Ron doesn't. Ah, that's because he's crazy. Ron had organised for us to have our first rehearsal at the singer's house. The singer was a bit older than us and lived with his grandmother, but she was apparently going deaf and wouldn't mind the noise. Not that she had anything to worry about anyway. Our drummer didn't own any drums and everyone else seemed more interested in talking than practising. Yeah, and you know what his name was? It was Mont Godfrey. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Hey Simon, mate! Glad you could make it. Come meet the lads. This is Wayne the singer, Bob the drummer, and Terry the rhythm guitarist. These are the guys we had for the top with. Let's take a cue. Anyone for a brew? Yep. Yeah. 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 Alright. Right. Great band once said, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. If you're going to make it in this business, then you need some wicked band logos. Here are some I've been working on. Righto, I think we should uh, vote on these and uh, start working out the songs we're going to play. Uh, <coughs> but you mind not smoking? It's giving me hay fever. Come on, man, that's not the attitude to have. When we're famous, we'll be smoking joints the size of baseball bats. You've got to live fast and die young in this business. 
And girls, man, we'll have more pickups than a cross town courier. Hey, Simon, look at him. He doesn't know what to think, does he? You'll be beating him off with a stick, man. Look, he's all embarrassed. <laughs> hey, Terry, man. Come on, Terry, man. We're gonna have to teach you how to party. Come on, man. Oh, safe. Home run, yeah. Oh, man. Man, it's gonna crack. This was to be the calibre of all our rehearsals. We would arrive with our instrument, and before even playing, we'd be unable to walk. Then one day, Ron made me panic. This is great, guys. My cousin's got us a gig in Toowoomba promoting his pub. What? But we haven't even practised yet. Don't worry, man. It'll be a breeze. All the songs we do only have three chords. Anyway, we get free board and drinks for the night. When is it? It's this Saturday, so there's a whole three days to practise. Sorry, mate. I can't do it. What? Look, we've been moving heaps of stock at work lately. You know, I've got to do overtime. But man, this could be a chance to never have to work again. To live the rock and roll dream. Look, I can't, okay, Ron. You can't expect to give me three days notice to go whilsting off to bloody Toowoomba. I've got people relying on me, you know? Well, we're relying on you, man. You know, one day you'll be driving off to work in that metal coffin of yours with the rest of the slaves, and you'll wish that you'd taken the big risk, mate. You know, there's a whole world waiting out there, and- Shut up, Ron! Uh, I'm gonna need to get a drum kit, hey. <laughs>